what's up everybody welcome back for another stream we are here live with the amx just the trim pro 2 lights here tonight our pro 2 is not pro 2 lights at wild horse yes i wanted to drop the se as these guys set to take battle here we got some big names like chris plumley connor berry nicholas dashlet and uh Zach Drapkin and more here tonight. So this is going to be a wild one. We are going to be sending a lot of people home for this one. What's up, James? What's up, James? Make sure you guys are getting those likes, shares, and follows out there as we get ready for tonight's main event. We're going to get ready for heat racing. It is going to be top two transferring from each heat race. Top two from each heat race. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set up that heat line now because it is going to be top two. Oh, I already got it set up top two coming out of each heat race. I'm not sure. We're going to have two, three or four heat races, probably maybe five. And then off to the C and the B main. It's going to be interesting to see who is going home here tonight. Definitely a stack field. I don't know if I, I you can't say one heat's going to be better than the other because this one is going to be nuts. How's everybody doing tonight? As we get ready at Wild Horse, let me know out at the chat. I'm going to go ahead and update the YouTube stream so that it is pointing in the right direction, letting people know it is iRacing. Make sure you guys know we are live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and TikTok. I'll tell you what, TikTok has been phenomenal since I started doing it. I, you know, I uh, Facebook has always been great, but TikTok might take the cake on that definitely appreciate that opportunity to stream over on tiktok but make sure you guys make sure you guys are over there liking the other channels might have some different content come up in different places uh you know if i do like a little video or something it might show up on facebook and or youtube instead of just tiktok because it might be a little too long so make sure you guys are liking the rest of the streams or maybe one service is down that way you guys don't miss any of the action as we are set to do battle here tonight how many laps i didn't even look let's see what the format is tonight we got a 15 lap feature they do split it up into two into two right into two sections so the first seven laps will be green we'll take that that uh yellow flag halfway break what's up ox what's up well <laughs> look, look, look. I, on tiktok it says wild whore h-o-r <laughs> Hey, Max, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. Clint, thank you for the like. Anthony, thank you for the share. Ox, thank you for the like. Clint, thank you for the like. Anthony, thank you for the like. As we get ready for some action, how much time do we got left in this session? Oh, we got about six seconds. All right, let's go through the sponsors real quick while I got a couple seconds. It is going to be, of course, Just a Trim, as this is a Just a Trim Championship Pro 2s. Brought to you by Amex. And then it's going to be 906 Dirt. Then it's BGM Racing. Buchanan Paints. CG Motorsports. In Theory Motorsports. Just to trim lawn care. Out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. k, &K Contracting. Out of Bark River, Michigan. NWRA Racing Association. r &M Automotive. Racecraft Academy. Then it's going to be ref RTL Refused to Lift Media Productions and uh, Winnikey Motorsports, all sponsors here. Going to be Hard Chargers, going to be brought to you by NWRA. And the podium, the podium is brought to you by, brought to you by Buchanan Paints. we got the Racecraft, what a save. And the, the Dash for 906 will be brought to you by 906 Dirt. All right, let's get ready for heat race number one. It is going to be eight trucks out here tonight. So we're going to end up with four heat races. Top two going to transfer out of each heat race. It is going to be Chase starting on the pole. Chase Greer starting on the pole. Timothy Mismere in second. Brock Smith in third. Going to be Wes Graham in that number three. Four position, Cody Vanderveer in fifth. Going to be Winnicky in sixth. Zach Drabkin's going to start in the back end seventh. And Sean Winkler in that number eight position. Going to be four laps here in heat race number one as we get ready 
for them to roll off the starting grid. All right, let's see. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna, they'll take the rest, and it'll probably be around 14 or 15 is what I'll end up taking. K Wayne, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I got to get caught up now. Hey, I should venture away from big blocks. Yeah, they're fun. They're fun. A lot of guys actually come over here. Um, Robbie Swan is actually running. Uh, as, I don't know if he's here tonight, but he's been running off road. I know you like all services, Ox. I appreciate you. Toasted, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Make sure you guys are getting those likes, shares, and follows out there. Let's go 906, says Ives, as we are looking for the green flag. And let's see if I can remember to say CG Motorsports green flag. Ives Motorsports, thank you for the like. Brett Smith, thank you for the like. Appreciate that, Brett. As they head through turn number three, getting that green flag this time by. Yeah, the Pro 2s are definitely fun, Taylor. Definitely fun. As they come out of turn number four, waiting on that green flag. Yeah, I know. we were. It was, they changed the time. What's up, Taylor? Green flag is out. Oh, they're touching up front already. Just Timothy and Chase make contact at the green. Down into turn number one. They're four wide. Four wide for the number three spot. As it looks like Winnicky is pulled out. Or racing. Thank you for the follow. Down into turn number two. It's going to be Timothy out front. Chase in second. They're three wide for third still. Looks like Zach Drabkin's going to make out in this one. He's going to slide into third. Oh, there's some contact further back. Hoods and, and quarter panels going all over as Winnicky is driving his way through this one. Oh, the, <laughs> that was wild. A little bit of contact there. Everybody keeps it straight. I think that might have been, was that when that was uh, Winnicky? It was Vanderveer. Sorry, I said Winnicky. Vanderveer knocking off the hood of that thing as Timothy leads the way. Here comes Drapkin in the 56 machine. One lap complete, working on lap number two. I'm back. Um, I, I usually say it. I gotta get a, I gotta get a schedule together. I am gonna get a schedule together that'll be a sync calendar. Oh, Timothy almost lost the back end of that. Almost nose dove that thing. Keeps it straight as they come out of turn number four. Gage, thank you for the follow. Coming across the line, Timothy leads the way halfway through. He raced number one. Zap, Zach Drapkin second. Cody in third. What's up, William? Cody Vanderveer. He spells his name right with a C. Chase Greer and. Fourth, Wes Graham, fifth, Brock Smith, Winkler, and Cody Winicky back out on the track. Here comes the battle for the lead as Drapkin has caught Timothy and Vanderveer not far back as they head for turn number four. White flag going to be in the air this time by one lap to go when they come across the line as Drapkin takes the lead out of turn number four. New race leader at the line. Drapkin leads the way. Timothy in second. Vanderveer in third as they head through turn number one. Heading for turn number two. Drapkin, oh, he's going to wag that tail a little bit down the straightaway into turn number two. Drapkin continues to lead. Timothy in second. Vanderveer third as they head for turn number three. Timothy ships it in. Can't quite get to the bumper out of turn three. Heading for turn number four. It's going to be Drapkin leading the way as they come out of turn number four. He's going to take the win. What a dinner for him. He's going to need a Drapkin as he comes across the line. Timothy in second. Both these guys transferring to the feature. Everybody else, you're going to a Conti. So top two transfer everybody else to the Conti. This, these Contis are going to be insane. The C and the B main are going to be nuts. They're only going to take probably two or three people out of those. We'll find out when we get there. As we get ready for heat race number two, starting on the pole here, it is a random draw. So these guys do not qualify. It is going to be Matt Bennett starting on the pole here in heat race number two. Patrick in second. It's going to be Nick Nowak in that number three spot. Eddie Farnes in a fourth. The Dirty Plum, Chris Plumley in that number five position. Drake McTagg in that number six spot. Anthony in seventh. And Charles in the number eight spot. Parker, thank you for the follow. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that grid as we get ready for heat race number two. General Lee, thank you for the follow. Tudor, thank you for the share. Blaine, thank you for the follow. 
Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Two door. Thank you for the share. Preston, thank you for the follow. I see a ton of likes out there, but I can't keep up with it. I appreciate you guys as we are going to look for the roll off the starting lineup. Kyle, thank you for the like over on Facebook. William, thank you for the like. Nicholas, thank you for the share. Brent, thank you for the share. I think I already said that to Brent as we are looking for the green flag. Dakota, thank you for the like. If I catch it real quick on TikTok and I just can't watch it like that. I do say thank you. Oh man, I just seen somebody like it, but it clicked through too quick. All right, looking for the green flag. Matt Bennett and Patrick on that front row. Jaden, thank you for the follow as we are going to look for the green flag this time by four laps fan fave in the plum. Yeah, the dirty plum going to have to race his way up through. It's just AP. Thank you for the follow. What's up, Preston? Slow 5T. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that, guys. As we are looking for the green flag, Matt Bennett leads the field. With Patrick to his outside pace truck pulls off. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. As they come out of turn number four, looking for that green flag. What is this? This is Pro 2's at Wild Horse. As the green flag is out. Drag race down to turn number one. They touch as Bennett's going to shoot to the inside. He's going to keep the lead. Here comes Patrick digging back to the outside. He's going to take. He doesn't. Wow. What a move out of Patrick heading into turn number two. I don't even know how to describe that move as they head into turn number two. They're three wide for third. They like to be three wide for third. Side by side for the lead heading into turn number three. They're going to get it back down. Almost single file. Two by two for second. Varn is trying to race his way. Oh, no. The leaders go around. No, Bennett and Patrick go around in turn number four. That gives the race lead to the Dirty Plum. Plumley takes the lead. Drake in second. Farnes third. Charles in fifth. Anthony in... Or sorry, Charles in fourth. Anthony in fifth. The Dirty Plum leads the way. Drake and Chris just need to drive away as they head towards the turn. Hunter, thank you for the share. Tommy, thank you for the share. Heading for turn number three is going to be Plumley leading the way. Drake in second. These guys just need to keep it clean at this point, but Eddie trying to track him down in the number 21. Out of turn number four, Plumley continues to lead at mid tag in second. Eddie, Patrick, Nick Nowak, Anthony. Nick is missing the nose off that thing. Matt Bennett and Charles went around. He's going to fall back to the number eight position. Charles going to dig back out on the track. <laughs> this track. This is so done. Tricks. Plumley continues to lead. Oh, fun. Okay. I was going to say Chris Plumley leads the way, but I'll tell you what Drake is putting the pressure on him as they head for turn number four. Oh, he almost nosed over it. Here comes Plumley to the outside. Drake down low as they come out of turn number four. White flag is out. User 2682. Thank you for the follow. One lap to go as Plumley leads the way. Drake in second. They just need to not take each other out. What's up, Edmondson? Burke, thank you for the like. Appreciate that, buddy. Here comes Drake looking up underneath Plumley. Can't quite get there as they head for turn number three. Unknown, thank you for the follow. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun, Tommy. Coming for turn number four. Can, oh, man. Can Plumley take the win? Here comes Drake looking up underneath out of turn four. It's going to be Plumley and Drake going to the feature. Eddie, Nowak, Bennett, Anthony, and Patrick all going to the Conti. Charles, too. Uh, Chris Plumley won this one. That was heat race number one. The Dirty Plum. James, thank you for the follow. Jordan, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. As we get done with heat race number two, we're going to jump into heat race number three. Yeah, it is iRacing. It is definitely iRacing. I subbed. Uh, yeah, the iRacing, it's definitely fun. Yam, is it Yamas? Yamas? How do I say that? Thank you for the follow, though. All right, let's get ready for heat race number three. Top two going to transfer through. It is going to be James Burke on the pole here for heat race number three. Nicholas Dashla in second. Going to be 
Taylor Vanderbush in that number three spot. Austin Bolson in fourth. Going to be Brett Smith in that number five position. Cody with a K. Harrelson in sixth. Noah Sanders seventh. And Connor Berry starting shotgun on the field in the number eight spot. Oh, that is interesting. We almost got a pro sandwich in this one. (laughs) The fans go crazy. Is this Gecko? They definitely do. You know, I I haven't met anybody who doesn't like Plumley. <laughs> I haven't met anybody. You know, it's kind of like a Robbie Swan. Everybody kind of likes him. Now, there's definitely some people Robbie doesn't like. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, Jordan? What's up, Jordan? Yep, Burke starting on the poll. <laughs> Burke starting on the poll here in Heat Race number three. With Nicholas Dashlet on the outside. Talk about pressure for James Burke. M play, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Could you imagine being James Burke and having to start next to Dashlet? I mean, come on. And then have Connor Barry. You know he's going to be coming up through the field. And only the top two transfer everybody else to the county. What's up, Budski? What's up, buddy? Uh, th- this is not my series. I just broadcast it. Uh, well, the Silverado uh, is the pace truck. Jay, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. As they pull off the starting line, we're going to look for that green flag this time by Walter. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> UP power. All right. They're going to pull off the line. It is going to be James Burke and Nicholas Dashla on that front row. Yeah, I mean Nick Nick is uh yeah, Nick is good. <laughs> Dean Bennett, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Look at that. Burke Burke knew he had the poll and even had the time to come thank the stream, like the stream. Appreciate you, Burke. As we look for the green flag out of turn number four this time by who's it gonna be in tonight's heat race number three? And I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you don't want to... I, I mean, I don't even think I'm, I'm as excited about the feature as I am these Concies. These guys are going to be racing hard in those Concies. Let's go, Burke, says Jordan, as they head for turn number four, looking for that green flag. If Burke can be smooth, he's capable of making the feature here. As they come out of turn number four, looking for the green flag. All starts on green with this with this group as they come up over the jump. When's that green flag going to fly? Green flag is out. Green flag is out as they head for turn number one. That's the first time they have a door bang down the front straightaway. Big run to the outside by Nicholas. Nicholas going to take the lead. Burke back to second. Now he's got to deal with Austin. Austin Bolson going to try to dig it. Here comes the 45 of Brent Smith. Brent's going to use the door on Bolson as that's going to give Burke a little bit of breathing room. Money on Bolson. Yeah, it doesn't help that he got the door. These guys have to navigate their way through as Connor Barry's hood goes flying off. Here comes Austin looking for that number two spot. He's going to grab it in turn four as they're three wide for second out of turn number four. Looking for turn number one and lap number one complete. Here comes Burke. He's going to park it on Bolson's nose out of turn turn number one heading for turn number two man he is blocking as they head into turn number two Bolson going to dig down low Burke on the outside Burke's going to try to take the run and the position into turn number three Burke sends it in he's going to keep the second spot for now but they're going to give him a little bumper he keeps it straight as a hit for turn number four Burke driving his tail off, but he is going to push up. Burke is all the way back to the seventh spot. He made a mistake. That's going to cost him. Back up to the front is Nicholas leading the way. Austin second. Connor Barry's going to slide into third out of turn number one. They're going to touch doors. Here comes Brett Smith back to the outside as a head for turn number two. Oh, big contact. I mean, you if you're that number one truck, you have definitely got a target on you. Oh, no. Oh, Vandenbush losing the hood on that thing. He might have been blocking his view there as they get into the 71 and Noah Sanders. Big contact as we got hoods and fenders and quarter panels flopping around. We just lost the fender of hood from Noah Sanders there. He's got to be happy that's gone. 
Go check out AMX iRacing. No, Smith goes around. AMX iRacing over on Facebook is the best place to get up with these guys. Chuck Bill, thank you for the follow. Oh, that is unfortunate for Brett Smith as we go back up to the number two spot. It is Connor Berry now as he has worked his way to the front. Is anybody surprised Connor Berry is up front now? What sucks for the rest of the field is he's going to start up front. Joe, thank you for the follow. Uh, they do. I don't know if they're accepting anybody else because this is race number two, but they do have the choice on whether you pick paid or no paid. Go Barry, says Jordan Scott. No surprise about Barry, but uh, you get to choose what which one you want. As the checkered flag is out, it's going to be Nicholas and Barry going to the feature. I love basketball. Thank you for the follow. But they but they do seasons often, uh, Brendan. So make sure you go check them out. Definitely good group. All right. Heat race number four. I think it is only four heat races. Let's just double check. It is. It is. John Swan. Thank you for the follow. It is I race in BG. Matt Smith. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. As we get ready for heat race number four. Remember top. Top to transfer everybody else to a Conti. Dirt King, thank you for the follow. RJ Country, thank you for the follow. All right, starting on the pole here tonight in heat race number four. It is going to be Mikey Klein. On the outside of him, he finds all the creative ways to wreck. It is going to be Franklin Monac. It's going to be Nathan Metoxin starting at third. Quinton in fifth, fourth. Going to be Solomon starting fifth. Greg Johnson in sixth. And Buck in that number seven spot. They, they love Evan. Thank you for the follow. Mike, thank you for the follow. Yeah, you have to have a computer. You definitely have to have a computer. It, it is not on console. Let's go, Clint. What's up? What's up, Scott? Hashtag Wes. Thank you for the like. Appreciate that, as always. I love seeing those familiar faces that have been around forever when they pop in, even if it's just for a like. Appreciate you guys. As these guys come off the starting line, Mikey Klein and Franklin on the front row here. I'll tell you what, they, they got some good drivers behind them. They're in quite the position here to have to hold on to that top three. I like to party too. <laughs> Furry, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Zach, thank you for the share. About damn time. About damn time you share, Zach. Zach is always like, is the stream up? When's the stream going to be up? I want to share the stream. Hold on, let me wait four heat races in before I share the stream. Yeah, that's Zach Drapkin. Scott Helms, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. As they head through turn number three, Pace Car is going to pull off. Looking for the green flag. This is a league every Tuesday. Uh, go check out AMX iRacing over on Facebook. That's the best way to get information. Jumpy trucks. <laughs> I love you, Zach. Best third place interview in the world green flag is out as they come out of turn number four looking for the line berserk thank you for the follow down into turn number one out of turn and it's going to be metoxin looking for the lead already we got one shooting down to the inside is that colton buck is going to go for no franklin's going to go for a ride i said he finds a way to correct every time creatively let's go see what happened to franklin oh franklin he always makes the highlight reel Let's see what happened. Oh, he just rode off the nose of Metoxin and into the inside wall. Franklin just has the worst luck in the world. And it's usually not his own doing as Metoxin leads the way here in heat race number four. Mikey Klein back to second. He's got Solomon on his back bumper. Yeah, that, that is 100% true. They do that a lot. <laughs> Smart ass Helms. You are not lying. Those two definitely find creative ways. Metoxin leads the way, but here comes Mikey. Mikey's going to get up underneath him in turn number three. Battle for the lead. Oh, Mikey pushes up. Metoxin takes it back. Remember, Solomon won his heat race in the street stocks race before this one. Can he catch a little bit of luck and get another heat race win here tonight? Back into turn number uh, two. Down the or turn number one, down the straightaway, looking for turn number two. It's going to be Metoxin leading the way. Here comes Mikey back up underneath. He gets in the back of Metoxin. Oh, he jumps the berm. Here comes Buck. Where did Buck come from? Where the Buck did he come from? Sorry, had to. Firebird. <laughs> Firebird? Question? I'm not sure what you mean. 
Oh, no. We got one spinning around back there. That is going to be Greg. Greg's going to keep it going straight. Jose, Jose, thank you for the follow. That is a clever way to say Jose. <laughs> yeah, you're like. Batoxin out front. Buchanan in second. Solomon in third. Batoxin leads the way here in heat race number four on the last lap. This is Wild Horse. Wild Horse. Sorry. One more turn from Metoxin. Can he hold on with Buck in second? Through turn number four, it is going to be checkered flag. Give the win for heat race number four to Metoxin. Buchanan second. Solomon, Mikey Klein, Greg Johnson, Quentin, and Frank all go into the Kotze. I, I, I need to be honest here. I In all fairness, I, I do not know a lot of the off-road tracks. My bad. Oh, it is. Okay. I didn't know that. See, Edmondson just corrected me, Brandon. It is fire. It is firebird. Edmondson just told me it is called. See, I, I don't keep up with it. Like these guys do. Brian, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Thank you, Edmondson. They need to correct this stuff on Iris and for stupid people like me. All right. Let's see how many is it taken out of the concies. All right. It's taken top four, top four out of 11. That is still a lot of people going home. Yeah, I know. They just corrected me. I don't I don't watch honestly, I watch Dirt Oval. <laughs> if we're gonna be real. I'm a Dirt Oval guy. Boo Cody Harrison <laughs> Harrison says uh Holmes. All right, let's go ahead and change this heat line here over on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. I need to get that figured out over on the TikTok side. I think I could do it now. But it'd be a lot easier if I could use Streamlabs. All right, starting on the pole here in the C main. Top four transfer to the future. It is going to be Cody Vanderveer. It's going to be Taylor Vandenbush starting in that number two spot. Chase Greer in third. Noah Sanders fourth. Brock Smith in fifth. Cody Harrelson in sixth. Sean Winkler is going to start in that number seven spot. James Burke in eighth. Wes Graham in ninth. Austin Bolson in that number 10 spot. And Cody Winicky in 11th. Yes, yes, yes. I know that now. I know that. I like to party here too. <laughs> Teals everywhere. Appreciate you, buddy. Look, good thing I got Brandon and uh, Edmondson keeping me straight because I have no clue. Let's go, Burke. Look, we we have uh, we have Burke named the complaint department in my uh, Discord because people get confused when I hold a host because his name is James and starts with a B, and so does mine. So. It is iRacing user 22636148950. Why does it do that? Is it because you never really started? You just load, downloaded the game and never made an account? I always wondered why some people are users and some aren't. And noted. Now I know. Now I know. T. McMillan, thank you for the follow. Cody, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that, guys. I, I do need to. I need to go visit some of these guys. So, like, uh, Drabkin races and uh, Drabkin races buggies, right? Green flag is out as they head into turn number one. It's going to be Cody and Vandenbush still side by side on turn number one. Looking for turn number two. Oh, they touch. Oh, Vandenbush sideways. Oh, Vandenbush up the track. Both of them. Both of them taking themselves out of the top. Two, Vandeveer still manages to stay fourth in that final transfer spot. Noah Sanders leads the way. Now Chase Greer in second. Brock Smith third. Vandeveer is trying to hold on to it. He gets sideways contact. He's going to fall back to fifth. Ooh, he is trying to hold on. Dig back up underneath Winicky. Winicky trying to race his way in. Winicky is uh, struggling a little bit here. Oh, he bangs the wall. Winnicky trying to race his way in. Vanderveer is going to dig up underneath him. Here comes Van and Bush up underneath him now, two into turn number two. Three wide out of turn number two, heading for turn number three. I haven't seen Burke wrecking. <laughs> right? Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Yeah, it is definitely full sun. Yeah, yeah, these guys, these guys are fun to watch. 
House, House Smith, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Appreciate that follow as Noah Sanders continues to lead. Chase Greer, Winicky, uh, Winkler, and Winicky all in the feature as it stands right now. Vandeveer a ways back. He's getting big pressure out of Burke. Oh, they head into turn number two. Here comes Vandenbush. Vandenbush just totally used up Burke. Burke climbs the wall, goes up over the berm. He's going to have to drive back out into the track. That was insane. Burke is not going to be happy. Cody the anchor <laughs> said, wow. Scott Holmes always coming out there with some crazy stuff. Noah Sanders continues to lead. Chase Greer second. Winkler and Winicky still in this one. Winicky making a mistake there. Vandeveer could still chase that opportunity. It is six laps here in the C main. A lot of opportunities to make a mistake. Uh, there's been a couple wrecks. They've kept it going, though. Br uh, Bryston, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. We're watching the battle here starting to heat up for that number four spot. Oh, Winnicky gives Winkler the door. Big time in turn number three and four. Big door out of Winkler. Uh, for Winkler out of Winnicky. Here comes Vandeveer looking up underneath Win Winkler. Winkler's going to dig back up underneath. Try to find Winnicky. That is too many W's. User 2263. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. As they head for turn number three. Pull the anchor, Cody. Pull the anchor. <laughs> he is uh, almost the anchor. Mike, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. So battle for that number four tr the final transfer spot is no longer going in as Winnicky has fallen back. Vanderveer is back into the feature where he stands right now. Can he hold on as we are on the white flag lap? Noah Sanders leads it out of turn number two. Two more corners for the number 71 here. It is eye racing. Eye racing. As Sanders hits turn number three, one more corner to go. He's going to ship it into turn number four. Coming to the checkered flag. Look at it to go to the feature. It is going to be Sanders going to the feature. Greer going to the feature. Winkler in third going to the feature with Vandeveer fighting his way back up tooth and nail to make his way into the feature. Winicky, Vandenbush, Smith, Burke, Bolson, Harrelson, and Graham all going home. Oh, it's wait, uh, you got multiple accounts. You got an alt account for uh, TikTok? Are you out there getting in trouble or something, Wingnut? All right, let's... Oh, my foot fell asleep. Racecraft. All right, let's get ready. Oh, you changed your name. Okay. Let's get ready for the B main. This is the last chance for... Four of these drivers at his 12 trucks going for four positions here, going into the feature. It is going to be Eddie Farnes starting on the pole here tonight. In the B main, it's going to be Solomon in second. Going to be Nick Nowak in that number three spot. Mikey Klein in fourth. Matt Bennett in that number five position. Greg Johnson in sixth. Patrick in seventh. Quinton Johnson's going to... Going to start in that number eight position. Anthony in ninth. Franklin, 10th. Charles, 11th. And Brett Smith rounding out the field in that number 12 position. You like the pink and white truck on the pole? That is going to be Eddie Farnes starting on the pole here tonight. He's a dirt oval guy, but uh, he definitely likes to throw down here on the off-road dirt. Nicholas, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. Ice Cold, thank you for the sub over on YouTube, appreciate that. As we are looking for the green flag, it is time for the B main. These guys get the second LCQ of the night as top four going to transfer everybody else going home. Let's go, Landon Moody. Who, who, who are you picking on in this one, Holmes? Who are you picking on? I wouldn't ask you who you're picking. I'm just going to ask you who you're picking on. All right, Wingnut's going to pick Eddie for the win here and he and the B main. We got any other picks? I'll tell you what, Greg Johnson, I, he he's good enough to make it in. Anthony, he's got some work to do. He can make it in. Turn one, anything can happen. Go Mark Thrash. All right, Wingnut's now over here pulling some Scott Holmes. 
Oh, yeah, it is definitely going to get crazy. As they come out of turn number four, looking for that green flag, Eddie and Solomon bring him down. Green flag is out as Eddie's going to disappear. Down into turn number one, Eddie and Solomon. They're three wide for the lead out of turn number one. Nowak tried to take it three wide. He's going to back out of it as they head for turn number two. Still side by side for the lead. Solomon digging. Oh, where did Eddie go? There he is as they come out of turn number two. Eddie up there playing peekaboo with his internet connection as we got one with no hood anymore. There goes another hood. These guys beating and banging, knocking parts off this thing as they head for turn number four. Nowak, Mr. Consistency. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. He could he could make it help him transfer anyway right now as it stands. But he's got a couple hundred green trucks behind him. As Patrick and Michael try to take Mikey try to take him three wide for the transfer spot. Top three trying to drive away as Nick tries to hold on to the transfer spot. Here comes Patrick. Oh, they're big contact up at the front as Solomon's going to start to lose the hood on that number 91. Greg Johnson to the point in that 150 machine. I said it. I said he should be able to race his way in. He's not just racing his way in. He is racing for the lead as they come out of four. Here comes Solomon trying to look to the outside as we got a new race leader that time by Greg Johnson at the point. Farnes in second. Solomon third, Mikey Klein now in fourth. Oh, Nick is out of it. Nick is out of it. Bennett's out of it. Patrick's out of it. Those guys all done. We're down to eight trucks here in the B main. We're about to go find out. I was wondering what happened too. There was so much going on. I didn't know what to watch. Let's see what happened here. All right, let's see what happened for the transfer spot. Nick was right in there. They're going to come in. Oh, Nick blew it. Oh, Nick. No, Nick. Oh, man. That, that, that is not stream appropriate. That was a little uh, rated X. If we're in Texas, we have to ID you guys now. All right, Greg Johnson leads the way. Eddie Farnes second. Solomon third. Quinton now in that fourth and final transfer spot. So Quinton in that number 53 has raced his way in, but he's got Brent Smith just behind him in that number 45. Four laps into this one. We got two laps to go. Hey, 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 my little eyes. <laughs> right? That is not appropriate for wing not to watch. As Smith is going to give the bump to Quinton. Yeah, that was definitely a big oof. I'm glad you were paying attention. Morgan, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. As we got contact for the transfer spot. This is the race for the final transfer spot as they head into turn number three. More contact as Quint. Oh, Smith gets turned around. Well, Smith was using up Quint, and I think it's only fair that Quinton used him up back. But Smith is definitely not going to be happy with that one as they get the white flag this time by. That transfer spot, man, that was dog-eat-dog dog as they come across the line. One lap to go. Quentin struggling with the handling on that number 53. Here comes Brett Smith. Oh, he is going to send it. This could get interesting here, guys. Don't go anywhere. This is going to get interesting for the transfer spot. It might send Anthony into it as they come out of turn two. It's a drag race to turn number three. Oh, that's going to put Smith back into that number four spot. Here comes Quentin. Smith knew it was coming. Oh, Quentin makes a mistake. Hits the berm. Smith's going to dig out of turn number four. Give the transfer spot to Smith as they come out of turn number four. Johnson, Farnes, Solomon, and Smith go into the feature. Quentin, Anthony, Charles, Mikey, Patrick, Nick, Matt, and Frank. Go, going home for the night. That was a heck of a race. Yeah, Brent sent it in there. I'll tell you what. Like, that was fair racing as far as I'm concerned. That was fair racing. John, thank you for the follow. I will told you, I was looking more forward. The race of the year. I was looking more forward to the Concies than I am the feature. The feature is going to be fun too, but... I knew that was going to be wild. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that heat line. We don't need that one anymore here tonight. 
I'm not cleaning up the track. All right, so. Hold on, hold on. I think I got it. I think I got it. There we go. All right, time for the dash for 906. Brought to you by 906 Dirt here tonight as it's going to be Drapkin on the pole. Plumley second. Oh, I'm trying to see who is who here. It's going to be Timothy, I think. In the, yeah, Timothy in that number three spot. Buck and no, that isn't Buck. I can't. Metoxin in fourth, I think. I can't tell who's who. Yeah, Metoxin in fourth. Let's see. Who's the 23? Nicholas, sorry. Nicholas in third. Then it's going to be Timothy in fifth. Oh, uh, I don't know who that is. Hold on. I don't know. Oh. Drake in uh, six. Then it's going to be Connor Barry and Buck rounding out the field. Top two from each heat race. Racing for that 906 dirt. The dash for 906 as they come out of turn number four. Green flag is out. Red and black truck. That's always a good pick. That is Drapkin as they head into turn number one. Drapkin is going to lead the way as they come out of turn one. Looking for turn number two. Here comes Plumley digging back to the outside. Uh, Nicholas, what a top three. Really? I mean, that is like a stacked group right there as Drapkin leads it into turn number three. Drapkin out front. Here comes Nicholas trying to take it away from him. Drapkin is going to stay there as Plumley and Nicholas get together. One, two, three. As Metoxin sits in that number four spot. Metoxin is going to try to dig up underneath Plumley as they come out of turn number four. White flag is out. One lap to go. Drapkin out front. He's getting pressure from Nicholas. Heading to turn number two is going to be Drapkin out front. Nicholas trying to reel him in as they come out of turn number two. Down to turn number three. Can he hold on for a couple more corners as Drapkin leads it as they head for turn number four? Who's going to win the dash for 906? Big wreck in turn three, but we're watching the lead. It's going to be Drapkin out of turn number three. Nicholas in second. Matox in third. Good run here in the dash for 906. Cody Cody is not going to warm up, Scott. He didn't make the race. Did he? I don't think Cody made the race. Ugh. Wow, there's a yawn out of nowhere. All right, we're going to be doing a little bit of a warm up here. How much time we got? We got enough. Oh, I hope they are not doing the full 15 minutes. They got the warm up here. We'll see when they're going to end the warm up. And then we're going to get ready for tonight's feature. Let me go ahead and take the trophy dash thing down. Congratulations to Drapkin. As Connor Berry is going to come out there and take the quick time in the warm up. Yeah, top three going to have to go to the back of the pack. From last week's race. Nick, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. Appreciate that like, Nick. You guys, I want to know who your favorite is. I, I You know, it's going to be hard not to pick Connor Berry. He's going to be starting up towards the front here tonight. He does not get an EOL. Because he did not finish in the top three last week. So we sh probably will be talking to him later on tonight. Probably going to be talking to him later on tonight. <laughs> he didn't. Best kind of surprise is a surprise. Like, surprise, Cody didn't make the feature. Oof. Cody, are you out there in the chat? You gonna put, are you going to let Holmes talk to you that way? You going to let Holmes talk to you that way? All right, so we're going to work the warm-up. I'm not sure how long we're going to do the warm-up for. You're going to go with Noah? Noah's going to have quite a bit of work to do here tonight. He knows I love him. Yeah, he does. 
He does know it. Who's ready for some wild whore tonight? <laughs> I think Drapkin just went, raised his uh raised his wheel instead of his hand right there when I asked that. <laughs> Cody says. Cody's a funny guy. All right, guys, let me know who your picks are for the feature. I know I got my dirt road guys out there. Who do you think is going to win? No, no one knows. <laughs> if you don't knows, you knows now. Yeah, I, that's a good pick. I think I think Barry's going to be hard to beat, though. He's going to be up to the front. He is not going to get an EOL because he did not make podium last week. So uh, I, I don't know. It's kind of hard not to pick Barry tonight. What do you guys think? What's up, Thomas Lee? What's up? Gecko, Edmondson, what do you guys think? You think, uh... Do you think uh, Barry's the one to beat tonight? I mean, Barry's the one to meet everyone. Norwood for the win, says Holmes. Winkler and Metoxin to podium. Barry to win. That's a, that's uh, not a bad bad uh, group to pick. What's up? What's up, Coffee Gok? You're going to pick Connor? Yeah. Yeah, Connor Barry is going to be, yeah. We'll, we'll probably be talking to Connor unless some bad luck happens. Let's see. So we had four, we had, we had four heat races. So four heat races. That's eight drivers. And then we just took it. So we got 16 drivers, I think, in the feature tonight. Maybe. It's showing 15 people out on the track, but did it only... Yeah, we should have we should have 16 drivers out there for tonight's feature. I hope we don't have to do the whole 15 minutes of warm up. Oh, I see some comments for some reason. Be careful what you answer. They are all number 1 with you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying when you put, when you put, put, uh, the drivers, that got to go to the back to the back and make their way up through the field and Barry's going to be up front. It's going to be hard not to be Barry. All right. We're advancing. We're going into tonight's feature. It is 16 drivers here tonight. Starting on the pole here tonight in the feature, it is going to be Zach Drapkin starting in that number two spot. Oh, he's going to the back, though. Then it's going to be Chris Plumley starting in second. Nicholas Dashlet starting in third. Metoxin in fourth. Timothy in fifth. Drake in sixth. Connor Berry in seventh. Going to be Colton Buchanan in that number eight spot. Noah Sanders in ninth. Greg Johnson in tenth. Then it's going to be Chase Greer in that number 11 spot. With Eddie Farnes in twelfth. Sean Winkler is going to start in that number 13 position. Solomon in 14th. Cody in 15th. And Brett Smith in that number 16 position. So, Drapkin's going to the back. Nicholas is going to the back. And is it Vanderveer or Bennett going to the back? I forget. <laughs> Connor Barry taking Nitro Circus Sim Race into the top. Look, Connor. Yeah. Let's go 906 Dirt Drivers. Brett and Noah Sanders, says Austin. You got, you got Sean because 13. <laughs> All right. So. That's going to that's gonna change because some people are going to the back. Thomas Lee, I don't know if I said it, but thank you for the like. Austin, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. As they are lined up looking for the green flag. Here tonight, it's going to be it's going to be 14 laps of green racing. 
with one pace lap in the middle. If you guys haven't been here before, they're going to do seven laps of green. They'll throw that yellow flag, re-rack them, restack them. If you're a lap down, you can get one lap back under that little halfway break. Hopefully get yourself back on the lead lap. We'll start them back up for the final seven laps. And it is going to be crazy as these guys pull off the line out of line. Top three from what last week going to the back of the pack. <laughs> Oh, I guess I guess Nicholas was not up in that. So Nicholas and Plumley starting up front, all the way up front. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know who to pick. I don't know who to pick. Oh, Vanderveer's in the back. Okay. So looking for the green flag this time by Nicholas and Plumley now on that front row. Who's it going to be tonight as we look for the green flag out of turn number four? Pace truck pulls off. Remember, the start is on green as they come out of turn number four. You can hear those engines getting excited as we look for the green flag. Where is it at? Green flag is out. Green flag is out as they head for turn number one. They might have touched a little as they head into turn one. Nicholas going to slide up. Plumley gets in line. Here comes Timothy in the 327. He just won the street stock race. Can he steal this one away from these truck guys? Down into turn number two. Still, still Nicholas out front. Plumley second as Timothy is going to comfortably be in third. But here comes Matoxin in the number 19. Metoxin looking to make some noise here tonight in that number 19 as we see Drake digging down on the inside. He's going to slide up the track. Metoxin's going to cut up underneath him out of turn number four. One lap in the book heading for turn number one. Hold on to a Drake into turn number one. Here comes Noah Sanders in the 71. Noah's going to definitely shake it up a little bit here. He is not afraid to use that bumper as they head into turn number two. Oh, a little bit of blinking on a Drake there. Heading for two. They're going to be three wide as the top three drive away. Connor Barry kind of stuck behind these guys as they head into turn number three. He's in a tough spot. Easy to get run over here as Buck just gave him a little bit of contact. Ooh, bad bump out of Drake. That's going to allow these guys to cut up underneath about a turn number four. Here comes Metoxin. Looking down low as Timothy is putting the pressure on Plumley. Timothy looking for second. Timothy going to fall back in line. We're going to jump back to the battle for fourth as Metoxin has it. Drake back to fifth. Little bit of contact. They're going to push Metoxin sideways. What a save out of the 19. Oh, they're going to go three wide. Little contact in the air between Drake and Metoxin as they head into turn number three. Metoxin making that truck as wide as he can. Heading for turn number four. Oh, no, Noah swung the back end, got Drake. Knocks Drake off the track. Drake's going to fall way back to the number nine spot. Bad bump out of uh, a bad bump there out of Noah. Gets into Drake, sends Drake up the track. Noah falls way back too. As we get back up to that number four position, Metoxin doesn't get any breathing room as he's got Connor Barry all over the back of him now. Here comes Buck digging down, digging down, digging down low. Wow, what did I just say? Digging down low, up underneath. Oh, a little bit of contact. Going to knock that quarter panel off the number one machine. Well, it grows back as they come across the line. Four laps complete. Four laps complete as we watch the battle for that number four spot. Metoxin holding on for his life as it looks like Connor Barry might be struggling a little bit here tonight. Let's go check on our EOL. Zach has only made it up to that number that number 13 spot. He's got no bumper on the front of that. Neither does Winkler in front of him. As we go back up to the battle for fourth as Connor Barry is using up the back bumper of that number 19. Coming across the line, five laps complete. We got two laps to the halfway break. Connor Barry trying to find his way around Metoxin. He's got to get around Metoxin here. He does as they head into turn number two. Metoxin going to slide up, almost uses the back end of that number one machine. Now he has to deal with Buck. 
So Connor Barry up to the fourth spot. We're watching the battle for fifth between Matoxin and Buchanan. Matoxin going to take it back. Here comes Greg Johnson in that 150. He had an exciting win in his Concy. He's trying to race his way up and say, hey, I deserve it. It wasn't a fluke I got. That is a head in the turn number Head towards turn number two. Where do I find racing info for this series? Go check out AMX iRacing over on Facebook. Go check out AMX iRacing on Facebook. Down into turn number three. They're gonna get the they're gonna get the halfway break this time. Baez Nicholas comes out of turn number four. Halfway through this one. Plumley second. Timothy, third, Connor Berry, fourth, Metoxin, and fifth. They're going to re-rack them, restack them. Everybody's still on the lead lap. This will be a quick break as these guys are going to pull off close to turn number two. Now we're going to get a Delaware restart style. It is going to be Buchanan, or sorry, not Nicholas, out front all by himself. And that is going to be two by two for second on back. Apollo, they give her the follow. All right, that was interesting. It was fun. As we're going to get ready for the second half of this one. Now it's going to be go time. We're going to see a lot of desperation, especially for those guys about six on back. They're really going to be desperate to get up to that top five. They know they got to clear the pack in order to have a chance to race for a victory here tonight. This start is going to be insane. They might all they might all wreck into turn one. A lot of them might be wrecking. Ooh, Solomon all the way to the back of the pack. Brett broke the nose off of that thing. Let's go take a look at these guys. So we definitely got a couple damaged cars out on the track as the sun sets in the background. We are looking for that green flag. Nicholas leads the way as we got Chris and Timothy in that bro behind him. Looking for the green flag out of turn number four. Seven more laps to go when they take that green flag. Nicholas leads them in. Let's watch turn number one. It is going to get insane. Maybe all the way up to turn number two. This first whole, this whole first lap back is going to be crazy. Green flag is out. Green flag is out as Nicholas tries to get away. Plumley's going to take the spot. Here comes Connor Berry. Down low. We got one into the wall. Nicholas into the wall in turn one. Our race leader. Oh, no. That's going to get Plumley the lead. Here comes Timothy looking for the lead as they come to turn number three. Connor Berry just behind him. They're knocking fenders off. Drapkin off the track. Drapkin off the track as we move back up to the front. Going to be Plumley leading the way. Here comes Timothy trying to dig in in that number two spot. Connie, Connie, Connor Berry in third. Nicholas Matoxin in that number four spot. Matoxin losing the hood on that number 19. He probably wishes it just fall off. And how about the 150 of Greg Johnson up into the top five? Oh, no. We are losing fenders everywhere. Matoxin finally, our hood's everywhere. Matoxin lost the hood. Here comes Barry taking the number two spot or trying to take the number two spot away from Timothy. He's going to take it out of turn number three. They're going to head into turn number four. As Chris, as Chris Plumley leads the way, can he get the victory? The Dirty Plum out front. Connor Berry second. Timothy in third as they come out of turn number one, heading for turn number two. Barry is digging in on the pl on Plumley. The Dirty Plum is going to have to protect here soon as they close in on the end of this one. This is a quick race. If he doesn't make too many mistakes, Barry does not have a lot of time to get there. Barry's going to go low run slider through three and four. He is there as they come out of turn number four. It is going to be four laps to go. Four laps to go as they head into turn number one. Here comes Connor Barry. He's going to use a little bit of bumper heading out of turn number one. He lets Plumley know he's there as they head for turn number two. Oh, bad bump out of, out of Barry. Barry's going to recover nicely, not lose too much ground on Plumley as they head for turn number three. Down into turn number three. Watch this line that Barry takes. It's a little different than everybody else. He's going to shoot to the bottom. It has worked for him, but that's a bad bump. He slides up the track, almost into Plumley. Plumley's going to get the run out of four. Plumley gets a nice run out of four, but 
Barry is there. He's going to keep the nose up underneath. We got a car down low as they come out of turn one, racing for turn number two, side by side for the lead. Side by side for the lead down into turn number two. They're going to use each other up a little bit. Barry's going to get stuck up on the berm. He's going to fall back to second. Plumley back to the lead into turn number three. Into turn number three, out of turn three, looking for turn number four. It's going to be two to go at the line this time by Connor's going to ship it in. Not able to get side by side this time as they come out of turn number four. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Mitchell, thank you for the like. Appreciate that. As they head out of turn number one, looking for turn number two. Can Plumley hold on for just about a lap and a half? A little more than a lap and a half as they head through turn number two. Now we can call it a lap and a half as they come across the jump. Down into turn number three. Plumley trying to hold on. Barry's going to give him a bump through turn number three. Pushes him through the turn as they head for turn number four. Bad bump out of Barry. Barry goes around Timothy. Back to that number two spot. Barry makes a mistake hard into the barrier. Oh, he's going to fall way back in the field. That is going to be clear sailing for Plumley. Just doesn't make, need to make a mistake as Timothy is too far back. But Toxin inherits that number three position. What a what a mistake out of Connor Barry. Devastating here tonight. Down into turn number two. We're going to watch that battle for fourth. As Sean Winkler having a phenomenal run up to the number four spot. He's got Greg Johnson, though, behind him. And Vanderveer just behind him. Oh, man. Can you imagine being Winkler right now? Not to take anything away from Winkler, but he's definitely got some strong pressure behind him. As they come out of turn number four. Checkered flag is out. It's going to be Plumley with the win. Timothy, Batoxen, Winkler, Johnson, Vanderveer. Maybe. Did I call it too soon? Nope. Okay. Farnes, Smith, Chase, Buchanan, Mittag, Solomon, Connor Berry, Drapkin, Noah Sanders, and Dashlet. Your top. Your, your field. Wow. I, I, I just can't believe that. That was insane. I want to go back and take a look and see what happened. Oh, am I going to be able to find? Hold on. I'm looking for to see what happened on that restart. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're going to go see if we can figure out what happened. All right. We're going to go back and see if we can figure out. What happened to him on the start? That is my question. Oh, it just broke the right front, I think. I think it just broke the right front. I think he got the berm and it broke the right front. That is so freaking weird. Yep, that's all it did. It broke the right front. Did you see that? That was insane. I don't understand what happened, but hey. Thank you for staying there, Timothy. <laughs> Look at the toxins front end. <laughs> Yeah, it was definitely a great race. Great win by Plumley. We're going to bring these guys in. Let's go ahead and pull them in. For the AMX podium presented by Buchanan Paints. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was insane tonight. <laughs> Metoxin. Yeah. I want to say you survived, but that truck is not looking good right now. Oh, 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 I, that, that, no, that truck is beat. <laughs> Man, what a battle back in the hornet's nest all night long. Somehow you bring it in, uh, I mean, a couple pieces, but you bring it home, get that podium spot. You're, you're sitting there and forth. You're like, man, I, you got, he had to think I'm not going to get a podium here tonight. 
too much space between you and third place. And then all of a sudden Barry's turned around facing the other way. You take that third spot coming to one to go. I mean, tell me what was going through your mind. I was, uh, yeah, like you said, I was settling for fourth. I was like, I had nothing for like Timothy. I mean, and there might be times where, like I'd catch up, but I just couldn't figure out the truck for the life of me going through those whoops. Cause that's like the part that was slowing me down. And, and I'll start, I was just going through racing, and I'll start, I see Connor just doing a little pirouette in the inside. I was like, what happened to him? And here, I'm facing straight at him, so I was like, well, I guess third place. Just hold it together, run the, my lines, and be clean. You, you know, the bumps are here Here are always wild, and uh, the track, track kind of gets narrow, and uh, the lap times are, the laps are quick. Is that what creates all the chaos here, that sense of urgency and not enough room to really make those moves? Yeah, like like I said, it's, this track is a one-line place. I mean, there's like you could run all these different lines, but you're making contact with somebody no matter what. Like, it's hard, like especially through those whoops. Like, your truck could be facing left, and you end up in the whoops, like, turned around. Like, the trucks just don't really like the whoops at all. I'm just thinking, wait till we get that picture on AMX for this uh, lineup for the top three. <laughs> I'm just sitting yeah. there looking at your truck. Great run here tonight. Third place. Why don't you give a shout out to friends, family sponsors? Uh, thank you to all you guys for uh, um, broadcasting and supporting us and what we do in iRacing and hopefully get some new content coming out. Um, big thanks to Justin Tim, Lawn Care, BGM Racing, Racecraft. Racecraft Academy, Buckman Paints, RTL Media Productions, RM Automotive, KK Contracting, Winnikey Motorsports, 906 Dirt Racing, Northwest Associate Racing Association, CG Motorsports, In Theory Motorsports, and a big thanks to Eagle Eye Detailing and all the guys for in my team to, for helping out. Well, great run here tonight. Definitely a well-earned third place because you raced hard and you were fast here tonight. So uh, good run and enjoy that podium. Thank you. Timothy. Hey. You and Plumley had a hell of a race most of the night and uh, you finally broke kind of the same position as Metox and you were comfortably in third. Kind of felt like, hey man, I'm getting a couple podiums tonight. You had to feel good about it. Um, getting the second place here tonight after a win in the street stocks, man, it's got to feel good. It, it does, but I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm crushed for both, you know, Nicholas Deschelet and Connor, you know, both of them, you know, the top three of the night was definitely Chris, Nick and Connor, you know, there's, there's no doubt. Um, it just sucks to see, you know, the wonky physics break, you know, two of the fastest trucks tonight and ruin what would have been, you know, they would have had a hell of a battle for the podium. You know, that, that would have been an awesome race for the top three, but we we were able to capitalize on what mistakes there were um, and try to give Plum a run for his money, but it, there wasn't much running there. I was just I was just happy to sit and wait pretty much. Okay. Well, phenomenal run. Just this track has suited you here tonight. Not a whole lot to talk about. You had a quiet night for the most part running up front not quite the excitement as the rest of the guys i mean how glad were you to have that track position today i was after seeing what you know what we had to go through in the street stocks coming through the field i knew that the trucks they're a lot bigger a lot more power you know to tend to snap loose over the jump so you know being able to start i think after zach got his eol i think i started third had connor behind me and then you know plum and nicholas on the front row so I knew as long as I was consistent and steady, I would be good and was able to slide into the third there. You know, Connor kind of, you know, helped me out a little bit, gave me a little bit of a boost when I missed a, missed a gear there on that start. So he gave me a boost and got me right up back up in there and was able just to keep my nose clean for the most part, you know, avoid the, avoid what I went through last week and kept the truck in one piece for, you know, Clint, Scott and them to not have to work on it next week. I don't know if you're looking at the front row still, but you're the only one that doesn't have a messed up front end. Just <laughs> you're probably the only one on the track tonight that does it. But great run for you here tonight. Why don't we give a shout out to friends, family, sponsors? Yeah, I just want to thank everybody. You know, AMX for yet again giving us another good place to run. 
you know, all their sponsors, Just the Trim Loan Care, BGM Racing, Racecraft Academy, Buchanan Paints, RTL Media Productions, RM Automotive, John K Contracting, Winecki Motorsports, 906 Parent Race, and Northwest Racing Association, CG Motorsports, and Theory Motorsports. And you for putting this broadcast on and, you know, bringing, bringing the big dogs in. Because the big dogs like to, you know, show their dominant. And damn it, they were dominant here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'd be considered one of the big dogs tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Good, good run, good run, by the way. Thank you. All right. So, Wiley, thank you for the share. Chris Plumley, the Dirty Plum. Happy birthday. What are you talking about? Ain't it, it's got to be it's got to be your birthday because the racing gods gave you a gift there, two of them. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go to go into turn number 1 and and Nicholas just hits the berm wrong and it breaks the right front. And then you got Connor Barry, and you are racing your butt off. Make a couple of mistakes, but he does too. Um, let you get back in the lead. You got two laps to go. Coming to the white flag, you know you got one lap. You got to be absolutely perfect, and it still might not, might not be good enough. And coming out of four to the white flag, Connor makes a mistake. Yeah, I was. Uh... I haven't got to watch that back yet. I, I, I know coming into three, I felt him get into my rear a little bit. So I didn't know if he was going to try and go for an over under, um, and try to run the outside. Um, so I just took the middle, um, and I hope I didn't, uh, push him into the barrier or not. I don't know. Um, but I hope I didn't. Um, so I'll have to look at that, but now, if you want to talk about gifts, I think the real gift would have been in the heat race. I was coming through them whoops, yeah, and there were like three trucks too. in front of me, and they got Kitty Wampus, and I had to lock it up. That was a real gift right there. I mean, great night for you. I mean, everything. I'm part time. You don't even race every week with these guys like like the rest of them do. You come out here in style and take the victory. I mean, that's got to feel great. I mean, you don't always have the time to spend on the sim like a lot of these other guys do and you come out here and take a win in a field like this. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just thankful that, you know, my wife uh allowed me to run down here and jump on in the nick of time. So, uh thanks to her. Um yeah, you know, it's definitely hard when you can't put in the laps. I mean, it it takes a lot and um consistency is key, but I mean, also Patience is uh, key as well. You see a lot of the drivers that were in the back tonight, um, they really tried to force it. And if you're patient on this track, people make mistakes left and right. And you got to be there to capitalize versus trying to force it. And, I mean, you can get three, four positions in the whoop section. Um, so it's just it's just a matter of, you know, patience too. Well, phenomenal run here tonight. Teal says, way to go, Plum. Hi, Plum. Love you, Plum. <laughs> and so I guess this is a perfect opportunity. Why don't you give a shout out to friends, family, sponsors? Uh, so I want to say thanks to all the guys over at Factory, Sim Sport, and Legion Speed Sport, uh, T Stone Enterprise, ZK Designs for uh, always keeping the uh, trucks fresh when we need them to be, Appliance Park Company, um, TKO Nation, uh, IRL Racing, and uh, KK from Guaranteed Rate. Um, they they contribute a lot to uh you know just sportsman racing in general and, and uh you know without people like that investing in the sport you know it's it's going to go away so uh special thanks to them and you know you for always putting on an awesome broadcast you know love watching it back with the guys um and and the people who support the uh the league as well i mean Justin trim has been there forever you know racecraft jumped on board i think buchanan paints has been there a while there's a ginormous list of, of guys and, uh, you know, I think, uh, the other two guys kind of rattled them off here, so I won't waste any more of your time, but you know, thanks to them. Appreciate you. Good show. And I was like, before the race, I'm like, is Plumley going to make it? Cause I know it was that every <laughs> other week usually. So I'm glad you made yep. it. Always put on a show. I mean, there's a couple guys like you and Drapkin and, 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 and you know, a couple of other guys I, I always have always get excited about seeing because it's always fun to interact with you guys. So I appreciate you guys for helping me put on a great show and, uh, hey, you'll get 20 bucks. What's that? You'll get 20 bucks. 
I owe Gecko twenty bucks. Son. That's right. All right. Yeah, is that you, U.S. Said. or Australian? Uh, <laughs> I think pesos. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, you Thank you. Phenomenal show here tonight. These guys did a great job. Definitely a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and call it a stream. Thanks for coming to hang out as always. And, you know, we got other racing going on, but we'll be back here with AMX next Tuesday. So make sure you got those follows, likes, and shares. And as always, until next time, be safe and have a good night.